welcome to another week. This week's new content is our podcast, and it's about how we force savings through real estate investing. Yeah, and we don't talk about savings a lot in our blog or our podcast, but if you really think about it, what we do is we save our money for down payment, uh, and that money is sitting in that property. So we're actually saving, we, you know, realize that we're actually saving quite a bit. And not only that, Kenji and I have actually been recycling our money each and every year that we've been investing in real estate together. So all of our cash flow goes back into buying new properties and all of our tax, tax savings go back into buying new properties as well. Yeah, I think most people, when they think about savings, they think about you know taking that paycheck and a part of that and putting it aside into a savings account that you never touch, right? But what we're talking about is that our, our, our money's not sitting in a bank account, it's actually sitting in properties. And we do cash out refi or even sell our properties. So, you know, when we sell, we do take out all that money and put it into another property using a 1031 exchange. Um, but when we cash out refi, we ultimately, we leave equity in those properties and just take out a portion to buy the next property. Yeah. So it's really like savings and investing, which we're doing simultaneously. And that has been the key to the growth of our wealth over the years. So in other news, we are still getting ready for the Fast Fire to Freedom Virtual Summit, which is taking place August 17th through the 20th. We've been interviewing our students the last several weeks, and it has been incredibly fun. Yeah, the, our students have been really amazing. And, you know, if when you really kind of dive into the stories, uh, you know, we have a po podcast coming up soon where we talk about how our students will be more successful than us. Uh, and actually, our students are more successful in that, than us. I mean, they've grown their portfolios uh, so much faster than we ever did uh, by applying uh, all the learnings from Zero to Freedom uh, and, and, and whatever, you know, everything that the community shares. Uh, and we, we learn from each other and it's been incredible. Yeah, I mean, the other thing is we are actually learning through these interviews mm -hmm. as well. Our students have been through such a variety of challenges um, and they've found deals in really incredible ways. They've made relationships that resulted in deals. So we are actually learning quite a bit by doing these interviews as well. Yeah, and I wanna point out, you know, that this conference, uh, we're not just gonna be talking about the wins, right? And how big people's portfolios have gotten. Uh, we also talk about a lot of the challenges that people faced along the way and how they overcame them. And, you know, you can call them mistakes. Uh, I like to call them challenges, but ultimately- Or you know, learning opportunities. Or learning opportunities, yeah. You can learn from people's challenges, the things that they had to go through and, you know, ideally avoid them yourself. Exactly. So we hope all of you will join us at the Fast Fire to Freedom Summit. It is free um, happening in August and you can register right now. And there'll be a Facebook group coming up in the next couple of weeks where you can start meeting each other. Um, we have over a thousand people registered. So we're excited to see you there. Have a nice week.